Now coming to you from our New York City broadcast center, we have Patrick Dunn of Watershed Electric on the line. Mr. Dunn, what do we know at this moment? All we know so far is that this was not an accident. If it's not an accident, then it must be intentional. Both us and the Japanese have been hit by this thing. I think it's pretty obvious who's responsible. Here's a Tomo. It appears we have something in common, Admiral. Our analysis of the information of footprint shows that the pressures which collapsed our power grids appear in many ways similar to those that collapsed our markets. I am certain the Koreans and the Chinese are involved. Let's not jump the gun here, Admiral. We've had our microscope on a man named Zerkezi. He had access to weaponized IW Algos following that business in Georgia. He was also a major DOE consultant after the blackouts here in 2003. Yes, we are aware of this connection. Has Zerkezi been found? Not yet, but it won't take long. I'll keep you posted. Fisher. I'm afraid we might be facing an orchestrated attempt to push the world into a major crisis. Zerkezi might know more about information warfare than anyone on Earth. And the fact that this place is combat-ready, essentially stateless and better equipped than most governments, we need to find out fast whether this is a coincidence or whether someone inside this place is making a major move. That said, State Department has several very significant contracts with this place. This thing is extremely political. I hate to do this to you, but keep it clean. Recon only, no fatalities. This place's offices are on the top three floors of the Hans Center Tower in downtown Manhattan. Recent financials indicate that they have invested heavily in their local infrastructure in order to maintain full operational capacity following even a major terrorist incident. Satellite confirms Grimm's data. This place is up and running at near to full capacity. It looks like they might be holding a meeting with members of New York City Council possibly making a bid for protection or policing services to supplement the National Guard. They're prepared and opportunistic, that's for sure. But I wouldn't expect anything different. My money says they're playing fair, but if the boss wants to take a closer look, then that's what we'll do. Fisher, we need to find out if Displace and Zerkezi are working together. But until we know, you want me to keep it quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with this place all around the world. The President will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. Signs of disturbance. Oh, 
decided to request protection at that level from the National Guard, I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with taxpayers here. The last thing I need is another fiscal accountability scandal. Hmm. What? Come on. I want to show you something. Fisher, that executive. He probably has the daily access algorithm for the displaced central servers stored on his laptop. Lambert gave me pretty strict non-lethal parameters. If you stay close, you should be able to hack into his laptop wirelessly. I'll give it a whirl. So, what did you want to show me? In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper construction. What, like engineering, financing, real estate? Machines, concrete, decoration, elevators. Elevators like this one here. Huh. Okay, Julian, what's your point? My point is that every single day, five million New York executives ride elevators. Elevators that they can't do their jobs without. So... Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the stairs up 70 stories. And does anyone ever question how much an elevator costs? Of course not. Right. And I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an elevator isn't measured by what you get. It's measured by what you avoid. This place is expensive, Tom. I mean, there's no denying that. But it's not important how much it costs to hire us. What's important is how much it costs not to hire us. A bunch of good old boys from the Appalachians with M4s in every street corner, I mean, yeah, sure, it'll get the job done. But in the end, relying on the National Guard is like taking the stairs. If you want to keep those five million executives going to work every day, I suggest you take the elevator. Hmm. Huh. Well, you maybe got a point there, Julian. Of course I have a point. Let's go talk to Mikey. Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I put a program on your OPSAT that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice. Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do. I'm ready to go with the presentation. I think you can forget the presentation, Mike. Tom's soul. Aren't you, Tom? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I am. All right. You wait here. I'm going to head into the other room and do up some paperwork. All right.
Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? Uh, don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid. Small problem, Sam. A couple staffers got locked between the double doors leading to the server room. That kind of makes it hard to get through. Yeah, there might be another way. Looks like there are some heat exchange vents in this part of the building. You might be able to find a way out there if you head through the R&D section. I'll snoop around.
How do I access the main server room? Ah, uh, you can't get through here. Our doors are malfunctioning. Is there another way? Maybe through R&D. Might be a way through the ventilation into the server room. Thanks. Posting, that's for sure. But I heard the guy was really annoying. The guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. But what? So you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah. Emptying his liquor. Oh, God! Don't. He's got the new Fritz version. Yeah? I heard it's awesome. Can't wait to play it. Good work, Sam. Upload that program to the last server and you'll make me the happiest girl in the world. You're easy to please. Access is a girl's best friend. Did you hear that? Relax. Fisher, be careful. Thanks, Sam. That's the last one. I can't wait to sniff around and displace this laundry basket. Uh. What? Laundry. 
I totally forgot. There's got to be a way through to the server room from this area. Firing ranges usually have ventilation to clear the smoke. It probably ties into the AC system for the server room. Good thinking. Someone has shunted the data we need off the server. Log in name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In uh, sorry to interrupt, but. I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to. I see right. it. I want to check the server and make sure nothing got fried when the power came back on. Okay. Give a shout if you need anything. Will do. your server. Please, don't kill me! The files I want got shunted off to another computer. There should be a backup here. There isn't. They're only on the PC of Mylon Nedich. Mylon? He's the VP of Protection Operations. His office is on the upper floors. Don't you think it's suspicious that he's hiding files? Uh, yeah, I guess. Please, please let me live. <laughs>
I've been hearing some creepy stuff about Mylon. I'm not sure I trust him. I heard he got drunk with some of the guys in Istanbul last month. He wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. They found him the next morning, covered in, in blood. What? Yeah. Stan thinks he killed someone. Read a newspaper article the next day. Istanbul police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar they were at. Whoa! And I think we should try and get on his PC in the executive offices. See if we can find anything. The code to the area is 2346, but I don't know the code for his actual office. All right. Well, if I find out what it is, we'll go together. All right. Gotcha. Oh, hey! You're not supposed to be here! Tell me something useful and I'll leave. Ah, uh, forget it! I won't tell you anything! Are you crazy? We're on the 60th floor. Uh, what? What do you mean? You know, it's not true that you go unconscious before you hit the ground. You see it coming the whole way. You... you wouldn't! You want to convince me not to? Uh, uh, door code to the executive offices is two, three, four, six. to bring you in here so late. We need to put some extra men on the Zerkezi detail. Your name came up. Zerkezi? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko. Who? Mylon. Mylon Nedich. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkezi is out of town, so won't be a VIP. It's just a pop. Okay. Sounds like a dream. Nice suit. Italian? Oh, oh no! Oh, Italian. Yes, the Florentine silk. Andretti? Who's Andretti? Andretti? The famous designer. Men's suits, tuxedos. I'm not a tuxedo kind of guy. But, but you are some kind of spy. Yeah, I'm the real kind. Not the tuxedo kind. I'm the kind of spy who gets blood all over your Andretti unless you give me information. Oh God! Please, don't ruin my suit. How about a door code? CEO's office, 2609. 
You're wrinkling the fabric. Hokkaido, isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah, looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. Will its State Department handle that mess? You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. 